Hey yo, what's up YouTube? Today I'll be showing you like the ins and outs of how you do Syntrax and automation because um, it can be really helpful. Uh, basically, what, um, what I use Syntrax for, you can find them right here. Go to track, add Syntrax. I use them, it's for like when you need an effect on a specific you can um i use it for two things when you, if i need an effect on a specific time like in a specific um time in the song like say if i needed a delay on the bridge but only only the bridge see now if you put it if i put a delay on this track right here it will play throughout the whole song unless i automate it see that's where automation comes in you can either uh, put the delay on the send track and then um, automate it from there or you can put it on the master track and automate it from there but I like to put it on the send track oops wrong one I like to put it on the send track because with the send track you can um, you can mess with the dry wet see if I put it at 100% the delay is going to be um, it's going to be loud and it's going to be in your face but i can blend it see I, I put i pulled the wet all the way to 100 so now if i pull this all the way to full it's going to be 100 now i can i can blend this together uh let me pull something in here a song um One of my songs. I just get a beat. Uh, I will. We'll, we'll do this one. Nope. All right. All right. This I forgot this is a uh, audio track okay uh, just gonna take the delay out off for a second are right, we gonna put uh, like a really dramatic reverb on there show sure, yo and we're gonna put it only on one specific part of the song I already have a preset it's called spaces you know First, we're gonna name the send track reverb there. So when you um, when you go to this, this is the automation button. Drop down, you go to click reverb, and you drop this down, or else it's gonna play throughout the whole track. So this is the reverb line. Drop it down, and wherever you want reverb, let's say. Thanks uh, is on the beat. right at the end of the 16 bars put it you're going to drag it all the way up now uh two i guess that's 2.0 that means it's at 100 percent so i'm gonna go halfway at like one so you know you could drag it up more the effect will be a lot more I didn't even turn it on yet. All right. Let's hear that reverb sound. There's no reverb on this part. reason why it's getting distorted is because I still have some um I still have some of the dry in there so it's basically the dry is like it's just this playing and the wet is just it's the reverb so what these are doing I'm blending the the um I'm blending this with the reverb 
but the dry is still in there so it's like it's playing two and that's why the bass is getting distorted because it's two 808s hitting at the same time so if i took this down it should it shouldn't distort anymore even if i pull it up could uh increase the wetness it'll just give it a bigger space yeah it can get crazy all right all right he's gonna change the effect uh let's change it to Distortion. This is going to blast your ears off. Alright, I'm just going to rename this distortion. You don't have to. I just do it because it's, um, you know, you can want it be organized. So, this, damn it. This part is going to be normal. This is the part with the effect. <laughs> That's how you get, yeah. You know, I know you hear those um those songs with the beat drop and distorts, but you know it distorts at a, a certain part. Uh, you can also do this with um putting the effect right on the track. Say if I um I did distortion as well. We're gonna bring the uh send all the way down so the send is not being played. All right, see, this is the send distortion. Now I'm gonna go to the track effects. That's the effects that's on here. The send is right here. So send distortion. Then what we wanna automate it's distortion. This is what's gonna um this is this uh gonna make this the eight oh eights and the bass is gonna be, you know, all in your face. So this is when we wanna automate. And this is what is that. This is where it's at like the fault 15 and the line is going to show that it's at 15 this is zero that's 15 say if we um so we're going to put it at zero we're gonna come over here at the end of uh the 16 bars and put it at somewhere around 15. see so you no know distortion right here same thing That's just 15 percent uh, i'm not even trying to hear what this thing sounds like at uh a hundred because it's probably blow your speakers or headphones out but uh yeah that's basically the gist of send tracks and automation you know when you when you start getting songs and stuff like that it's it's helpful to where you need if you need the same reverb on every track I do this a lot. Um, that's why you would. Uh, that's why I have some of my um, presets are named, you know, off of my songs. Uh, like this one, I had a. Uh, if you go on my channel, there's a song called Dollars, and this, and it was this reverb, and I wanted it on every single vocal. So, on every single vocal, I went to the uh, automation button. Hold on, this is still named distortion. I right, call it a reverb. And then, you know, I just blended the reverb of how much I needed it in. If certain tracks needed more, I, I will give it more. If certain tracks, like the, my main vocal, I don't ha like to have a lot of reverb on it. So um, I, tr I tend to back up off the reverb for the main vocal because it, um, Sometimes it can get, uh, you know, just tedious to the ear and it gets overwhelming. So, um, so I would, you know, I could go to every other track. This one, they're all coming off the same reverb. You don't have to keep putting the same settings on it. 
you know, you're trying to work fast. So every track gets reverb. You know, you can, you can like this one can have 100%. This one can have 14. This one can have, and it's all coming from the same reverb, basically. All right, and that basically wraps up this video. Follow me at I am Dices. My SoundCloud is at Dices. I'm doing a mixing and mastering service. I'm mixing songs for 20 and I'm mastering for 10, 30 for both. I'm also also doing logos and covers. Um, I'm doing a cover for 10, two covers for 15. Anything over is negotiable. I'm doing logos for five. And if you have any questions, just leave it in the comment below. Or you can DM me or email me. Anyway, I'll probably get back to you in about a day or two. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. This is how I'm giving these videos to you. And be tuned for the next one. And I'm out.